This is how I'd explain the concepts of OOP to a six-year-old. Imagine you have a big box of toys. Each toy is special and can do different things. Some toys can make sounds, some can move, and some can even light up. In programming, we also have something similar. We call these special things objects. An object is like a toy that can do cool stuff. Objects have two important parts. The first part is what we call properties. These are like the features or characteristics of the toy. Just like a toy car can have a color, wheels, and a shiny body, objects have their own special features too. The second part of an object is what it can do, and we call these actions or behaviors. Just like you can make your toy car drive, or make your toy robot dance, objects can also have their own special abilities or actions. Now, here comes the really interesting part. Sometimes, we want to create many toys that are similar but have their own unique features. That's where classes come in. A class is like a special group or category of toys. It's like a set of instructions on how to make toys with similar properties and actions. It helps us create lots of toys that are alike but still have their own special touches. So, when we use object-oriented programming, we can create lots of objects, just like your toys, and organize them into different classes.